Christina and I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Con Air Secret Curl. Um, I just purchased this today after doing a lot of um, research and going back and forth on if I should purchase this or not because my thing is I have naturally really fine thin hair my hair is naturally very very straight um and for years i had been using the in styler um and that seemed to curl my hair give it a little bit of um volume and texture uh, but as of late i don't know maybe my hair texture changed maybe because i did dye it on recently the insider just wasn't cutting it anymore so I heard about Con Air Secret Curl and I decided to take the plunge and purchase it so um, I purchased it and I just wanted to let anyone know that has maybe short hair like mine or that's really fine and thin that this product would be really great for you um the reason why is because when during my research on youtube or anything else i couldn't find any reviews for girls that had short thin hair like i do um everybody that tended to use it had really you know naturally long straight hair or thick hair you know and it was just you know really long beautiful hair um but me personally i don't like my hair long and it does tend to grow fast so i'm always keeping it cutting it to keep it short um and that's why i was a little cautious on getting this because i didn't know if this would work with short hair um my hair right now i did curl it earlier with the secret curl um, it took about maybe 20 minutes to get these curls but I'm assuming because I'm not used to the device so I'm assuming that once I get used to it it should take less time um, but it was really easy I think my hair only got stuck once and um, when it gets stuck, because that was another concern, I have my hair short and thin and I didn't want it to get stuck and then I have to like chop it off or something. Um, but that wasn't necessary because when your hair gets stuck in the device, the device automatically stops and gives a warning sound and you're able to take your hair out easily. For me, I guess because my hair was short, I was just able to um, pull it out gently without ripping any hair but I'm assuming for somebody that has longer hair they will have to unwind it um, but yeah like like I said this tool is really really great if you have very short straight hair like I do um, like I said I was using the in styler that was my go-to hair device um, but it just hasn't been doing its job lately um, this try this it's really good I am going to show you really really quick how to use it if you're still a little wary because your hair is short so my hair like I said is probably up to here when it's straight and it's really really straight and dead like no volume never held a curl or anything and truth be told these curls right here I've had in my hair for more than four hours which is a big deal for me because in general my hair I would spend all day curling it like a curling rod or sometimes the in styler for it to only be curly for about an hour that's how my hair is it would never hold a curl so this right here is phenomenal for me to actually hold the curl it's insane okay so 
let me just show you guys real quick um i use this comb has the part um i guess because my hair is short but if you want to use a thicker comb i guess that'd be okay but you want to get sections um that's another thing with this device you need to use small sections you know you can't get overzealous and put large sections in it like this section itself I would say is about an inch wide um, but because my hair is a little bit thin and fine I could get away with putting a little bit more you know and without it getting stuck in the device but because my hair is so straight and thin so if you have straight thin hair like I do you could get away with putting a little bit more but just for the tutorial here I want it to go smoothly I will use what the manual recommends which is an inch of hair okay so you're going to make sure you comb it out like I just did and this part here has to be facing your head so you're gonna put it here um for me because my hair is short I do it a little bit closer to the scope and then put it it's gonna suck it in I'm gonna hear all those noises it's gonna beep three times There you go, it's ready. You open it and then just let the curl fall out. See? Nice. And like I said, this side already four hours. Um, I didn't touch it just for the tutorial. I wanted to see how long the curls would last. But you know, if I was going to work or anything, I probably would run my fingers through it so that it could look a little bit more neater. Um, something I forgot to mention. There are settings on the side. There is a low and high setting. And you have um, 8 seconds, 10 seconds, and 12 seconds. For me, I tried the low when I first got it because I was scared it was going to burn my hair. You know, like I said, it's already short, it's already straight, it's already fine. So I had on the low setting for 8 seconds. And it did curl my hair. But it was kind of like a really loose curl, you know, and I'm looking, it was nice, I guess, if I wanted to just go out and about, I would do like the loose curl. But for something more, you know, luxurious, can I say luxurious, <laughs> I would prefer this. And how I got this was I have it on high for 12 seconds, you know, but everybody's hair is going to be different. You know, I have blonde hair, processed hair, so it's a, a little thicker than it naturally would be. So you have not, pro your hair is not processed, not colored or anything, and it's, you know, has no texture to it. Um, I would say leave it on for 10 seconds, maybe on high, even low, 10 seconds, even if it's short. You know, just test it out. You know, work with it. Don't get overzealous and then put it on the highest setting right away because you can, you know, accidentally burn your hair or, or, you know, damage your hair. I'm not saying that that was the intention of the device, but everybody's hair is different, like I said. And um, you want to make sure also you put a, a heat protectant on your hair because my hair is um, blonde and um, I dyed it. I want to, to preserve my color and take care of it so I prior to me getting this I would use a heat protection spray specifically for blonde hair so as not to damage my color but now that I will be using this which um, does heat up to a high degree obviously to get this curl you want I will be adamant I'm using the heat protecting spray so I will do this one more time and then this will be over. Um, okay, so this is the front part. 
Mind you, I'm not the best hairstylist. I don't do my hair. <laughs> Anybody that knows me, I the most I do is color it and then just leave it straight. Because like I said, I've had problems my whole life trying to get a curl, you know, and have the curl stay for at least an hour. So this is a first for me. This is why I'm recommending this device. Okay, so here we go again. I'm going to put it in the device, sucks it in, I'm going to do the noises. Here we go. And I'm going to open it and release the curl. Oh, look how cute it looks. Nice. This is awesome. So, there you go. This is the Con Air Infinite Pro Curl. Here is the device. Dun, dun, dun. And the box it comes in. Um, I purchased this at Walgreens for $90. But I have seen it elsewhere for a hun over $100. And truth be told, they are selling this on Amazon right now for, I think, $69. The only reason why I didn't get it because I was antsy, I wanted it right away. But if you're looking to buy it, I would suggest ordering it off Amazon and you will get it for a lower price. You don't have to pick a hundred dollars for it, but it'll be definitely worth it. And hopefully, I will be doing another beauty tutorial in the future. So stay tuned, leave your comments below. Um, any experiences you've had with this any tips please leave me tips because i'm not a good hairstylist and <laughs> i would like some tips on how to maybe style my short hair using this i don't want to be stuck with the same hair curly style all the time but you know subscribe leave your comments and thanks for watching